Hi everyone, I'm John Whalen and I'm a product manager at Salesforce focused on security products like Shield Platform Encryption and a new product that we're launching later this year that we're all pretty excited about called Security Command Center. Now, today I'm going to talk to you about Security Command Center and walk through a couple of use cases that you might find useful in better understanding the security posture in your environment. Security Command Center is designed to make security super easy regardless of whether you have a single Salesforce org or 50 Salesforce orgs by allowing you to connect them to the command center and get a single pane of glass view of your overall security posture. When you first launch Security Command Center, you reach the dashboard. And the dashboard is giving you a high level view of your security posture by showing you key security metrics uh, that you may want to pay attention to. Now it's things like security health check score, where we give you an average of your health check score across your environment, to things like authentication by type, where we actually show you a breakdown of how users are authenticating into your orgs. Today, we're gonna to look at uh, a specific uh, couple of metrics. We're gonna start with the modify all data permission. Now, this particular permission is pretty sensitive. It gives you a lot of power, and you may wanna pay pretty close attention to it. In this case, we can see over the last day, two users gained the permission. We may wanna look at that. So let's look at the details. When we get to the detail page, you see at the top a change or a, a time series that's actually showing you the total number of users in your orgs that have this permission across the last 30 days. Each dot on the line is a specific day. You can hover over it and see the number of users that had the permission on the, the day that you're looking at. At the bottom of the page, we have a date picker. The date picker actually allows you to select which day you wanna see specific details for. And below that, in this view, you're actually seeing what changed on the selected day. And we can see on June 4th, two users gained the modify all data permission. Now looking at that information, we first see the tenant and the tenant ID, which tells us which orgs by org name and org ID uh, the specific user belongs to. We see user and user email, which tells us who the user is that had the permission added. Then we see action. And action will either be added or will be removed, whether the permission was added or the permission was removed. Context gives us specific information that is, is particularly useful, and that it tells us how did the user gain or lose the permission in question. Now here we see the user gained the permission by having the system administrator profile applied to them. The user below them had the permission added by having the modify all data permission set applied. Both of those look pretty good, so we don't really need to do a whole lot there. Now, if we wanted to see all of the users that have this permission on the select day, we can click on all data. Now, all data at first gives us a count by org of how many users have this permission. Now, on the bottom actually shows us the users that have the permission applied. Now changing gears a little bit, I want to look at a different metric. I want to look at packages that are installed in my orgs. This is particularly sensitive because, you know, depending on the number of orgs you have, it can be pretty difficult to get an accurate inventory of what managed packages, or in some cases unmanaged packages, have been installed or uninstalled across your environment. And when you get to this uh, metric detail page, it looks very, very similar to the one that we just looked at. At the top, you see the same time series that shows you the number of packages installed across your orgs. Uh, and at the bottom, you see the same date picker and you see the same change view that's showing you what changed on the selected day. Now on this view on June 4th, we see two managed packages happen to be installed across this environment against two different Salesforce orgs. Now, if we wanted to see a different view or a different day, we see that on May 8th, there was actually a decrease in the number of uh, packages that were installed. So we select that and we see in the change view that a package, uh, this one, the managed pack, uh, was uninstalled from one of our orgs. Now, if we go back to June 4th, uh, we want an accurate uh, understanding of the inventory that we have across all of our environment as of today, we can click on all data. And again, this breaks down number of packages installed uh, across each of these orgs. Uh, but it also gives you the view of what those packages are. And this allows you to sort by tenant name. 
So you can actually go and look for a specific tenant here. We have two packages installed. We can see what those packages are. Managed pack is installed for both of them. Or uh, we could look at the or filter by the package name and we can actually see all of the orgs that have a specific package installed. This gives you a very quick and easy way to understand the inventory of packages across your entire environment. That's all I have time for a show today, but I hope it gives you a little bit of understanding around the types of things that you can do and the types of information that you can see with Security Command Center and how it might help improve your security posture. Thank you. Have a great day.